Hey guys, Keelan here. Happy New Year. This is my first video of 2016. So I thought I would start out with a video of my curly hair routine. I don't think I've ever done one on my channel before. I know I've done the how I straighten my hair, but I've never done the curly hair routine. And I'll tell you why. It's because being a curly girl, it is so hard to find the products that work with your curls because everybody has different curls so you I don't care how many videos you watch you're I don't in my opinion you're never gonna get your curls to look exactly like someone else's because everyone has a different curl pattern for me I have like two different curl patterns in my hair like it's pretty tight at the bottom well not too too tight but it's it's tighter than it is on the top on the top my curls are a little bit more wavier and I don't think it's because of heat damage because I did have heat damage and I have gradually got my hair to come back to how it was when I was a baby so um, I don't think that's the reason why my curls at the top are looser I guess that's just how I was made um <laughs> I just have two different or maybe even three different curl patterns in my hair but um I thought that I would do my curly hair routine and um show you guys how I achieve my curls the way I do and it's getting so much longer I'm so happy uh, I've been really working with my hair trying to get it back to how it was because like I said I had a lot of heat damage but I have worked and worked on it and taken care of it um, to get it back to normal and I'm so proud of how good it's doing and it's getting longer because it was I think maybe when I first started my channel I think my hair was maybe up to here up to like maybe here when I work curly so it's that it's on my shoulders now so I, I like it so I um, wanted to show you guys my curly hair routine, so if you want to see how I did this, then keep watching. So I just got out of the shower and wrapped my hair in my t-shirt because that's better for your curls. And I've already shampooed and conditioned my hair with my favorite, which you can use whichever one you'd like. But first I like to spray my hair with Afrigee's Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer to act as a base for all the products that I'm going to be applying in my hair. So this here is just my little mixture that I've came up with. It's coconut oil, olive oil, and Jamaican black castor oil, along with an essential oil to make it smell better. But I just use this in my hair just to act as another base for all the products that I'm going to be applying in my hair later on. It's just really good for your hair and it is very moisturizing, which curly girls love moisture for their hair. Um, I'm now just redamping my hair because it kind of got a little dry from being in the t-shirt for so long, so yeah. So I like to start off with my hair in sections, as you can see, and I start with my Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner. I love this stuff. It's so moisturizing and every time I use it, my curls look amazing. If I don't use this product, like you can so tell that I didn't because my curls are not popping like they normally would be. But I just apply that over that whole section and just finger rake it through and everything. And then I move on to my Shea Moisture's Coconut Hibiscus and Curl and Style Milk for my curls. This just adds more moisture and helps even more to define my curls. The more moisture for your curls, the better, I've learned. And then I like to finish it off with my Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls Gel. This stuff is also amazing. The Kinky Curly Not Today and the Miss Jessie's uh, Jelly Soft Curls together, they are amazing, amazing combination for your curls. But that's it, and I just uh, section my hair off again into two for the top part of my head, and I just repeat the process.
So once I've finished up applying all my products, I like to kind of scrunch in the products a little bit and I kind of part my hair to how I like it and how I want to wear it for that day and just continue to kind of, you know, mix in the product with my hair with my fingers i don't use a comb or anything the only time i use a comb or a brush is in the shower when i detangle other than that i just apply products with my fingers and finger rake the product in my hair So the only con about any of the products that I use is that with the Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls Gel, sometimes it can get crunchy if you use a lot of the product at the end after it's dried. So to help with that, before it goes through the drying process, I like to apply my Marc Anthony Nourishing Argan Oil and just disperse that throughout my hair and kind of scrunch it so that way it you know, will kind of loosen up the crunch. Um, you can use any light oil, you can use coconut oil, argan oil of your choice, it doesn't matter, but it's just going to help with that crunchiness at the end. I don't diffuse my hair, I only air dry, so that means for about an hour I can't touch it. So after an hour of not touching my hair, these are the finished results. No frizz, just defined curls. So after an hour of waiting for my hair to dry, it's still, I mean, a little damp, but not as bad. It's maybe like 50 to maybe 60% dry. So it's it still has a little damp, you know, areas, but it's pretty much dry. And it's so hard not to touch your hair when it's drying. You don't want frizz. Well, I don't like frizz very much. Some frizz is okay, but I just, on me I just prefer it to be really defined and then yeah so after an hour this is the results and I absolutely love the products that I have you know put together to have a routine that I, I really like so that that is what I did or that's what I do to get my curls so thank you for watching and I hope that maybe this video was really helpful for you and if not if you can't work with all the products I use in my hair I hope that you could use some of them and maybe they would you know work for you but um, like I said thanks for hanging out with me today and I hope this video was helpful don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it and if you would like to subscribe down below and you know comment down below and let me know what products do you use for your curls if you have curly hair or in general what products do you use for your hair thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye